Hello everybody and welcome back to our latest episode of Real Talk. My name is Tom McCrandle, an Associates Insurance Agency, and we're here to talk about real situations that happen to real people that can sometimes be real uncomfortable. As everybody knows, the insurance market is going crazy right now, premiums are going up, um, especially on the liability side coverages. Um, and recently, Travelers came out with an um, article about social inflation and how there are certain factors that are actually contributing to rising claim costs outside of the usual. Um, so the first item that Travelers had mentioned, um, and they do have resources and um, sources in this document, so if anyone's interested further, I can send this to you. Um, but essentially, the desensitization to large verdicts and media impact. I know just as well as everybody that you drive downtown in a large city anywhere, you are going to see multiple billboards from personal injury attorneys advertising these massive jury awards that they're able to get for their clients. What that tends to happen though is that when people keep driving and seeing those all the time, it desensitizes the entire society to those large claim amounts. So when someone gets a $20 million verdict from a truck accident, people these days are kind of like, yeah, no, that's great. And that's because we see all of these numbers reoccurring all of the time, whether it be billboards and the media, whatever that case may be. Um, another factor is negative public sentiment and corporate responsibility. Um, I found this one really interesting because they had mentioned that 67% of jurors believe companies knowingly sacrifice safety to make more profit. That's pretty crazy to me. Uh, I'll be honest, I have not worked at a big corporate um, employer ever, <laughs> so I don't necessarily know. Uh, but I just thought it was a really interesting statistic because it was so high. Um, not only that, but 88% of jurors, which is even higher, uh, think that companies should take all precautions no matter how impractical or costly to ensure their safety of their products, which, in my opinion, they definitely should do that. Um, either way, that negative public sentiment towards corporations here again drives us higher award amounts for these lawsuits and things of that nature. There's also been a lot of erosion of tort reform. Uh, the legal environment, which has you know, historically limited the amount of um, damages that someone could claim, they, they're now tipping, in scales, or tipping the scales in favor of the defendants themselves. So I'm sorry, for the plaintiffs, excuse me. The carrier's the defendant. Um, and so, of course, when that happens, you have here again these large payouts, and I have a feeling that there might be some correspondence between that and the social inflationary factor um, that we're seeing as well. And then finally, attorney tactics and litigation funding. Um, this was super interesting to me. The amount of money that attorneys spend, um, not only from an advertising perspective, from also from venue shopping, essentially using analytics to determine locations and judges with a track record of favoring more generous awards. Um, I've actually seen that myself here um, in Texas. There are certain jurisdictions that are more for the plaintiff than they are the defendant. Um, and not only that, but attorneys spend over a billion dollars for 15 million advertisements per year in both digital and offline channels. So we're talking about both those billboards that you see as well as their um, social media posts, anything else that you might see in the media, things of that nature. So um, all of that said, we just kind of wanted to give you guys a little info about what are some factors that are contributing to social inflation because I've seen a lot, I follow a lot of insurance subreddits and a lot of people are saying that their carriers are saying inflation's the cause, inflation's the cause, but they're really not giving more detail on that. So hopefully that expands that knowledge a little bit and gives you guys some more info. Um, of course, if you guys have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to give us a call. Other than that, stay tuned for our next episode and thanks for tuning in.